We're back. God damn it. We're back. Welcome back, guys. I'm Mark. And I am the man with the plan, Dan. And, uh, we're playing more Santa Kiros. So after last week's abysmally short episode, we're going to, uh, Henry's favorite level. Come on, guys! Don't you want to fight? Ruggy and chocolate? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Our dog is sitting on my pillow right now, and, he, and she's giving us this look like, what are you talking about? Do you think that, uh, the Harry Potter universe is very popular in the land of Hang Myself Castle? Uh, probably. After all, it's full of chocolate frogs. I mean... Most works of media have, like, their fictionalized equivalent of Harry Potter be popular. Whether it's because they actually like it or because they think it's overrated garbage, though. So this level is the only level that I can remember that has, uh, artificial and fruit-flavored bullshit. I wonder if we can go down there. I don't know, can you? I don't know. I wonder if, uh, Froggy likes, uh... I didn't know you just hit. walked right into that. I honestly forgot those could actually hurt you. Because... I've walked right through them so many other times before. Fireball. He heals himself. Oh, that Richard. Lol. You're sure right about that. So, we saw that opening cutscene of Grand Total three times today. So, I hope I don't have to watch that. Well, Actually, in the course of about five minutes. I'm gonna have to watch it again when I edit this, too. So. You're gonna have to watch it three times when you edit it. Don't worry. Three more times, anyway. You know what that means, guys? I've seen that cutscene way too much, is what that means. That means that Chip really likes watching the fire sound effect be way too loud. Yeah, really. What's with this? I thought they fixed the sound mixing after Adventure 2. But I guess not. They did. If it was in If it was in Adventure 2, Chip, it would have been so loud that you could easily mistake the universe exploding for it. Yeah, okay. I guess that's true. So their sound mixing guy did get a little better. Also, my question is, why is like 90% of this particular level of Amy's just like grinding on or like running down long pathways. What's that? Also, the overheaters are. What's what? Okay. My favorite. Just watching is Amy. It really loves to spin. You, you think spin that... me right round, right? Okay, through. that's so annoying. I already blew up the main robot, and then it decided to spawn. Lol. I know that says you should be speed, but... Screw that. Use flight. So, I was trying to describe to somebody some of the appeal of Sonic the other day. Like, why... Like, why I really like the games. And one thing I said was, well... When you play them, you always find new and interesting ways to go about beating the level. And then I proceeded to glitch through part of it. My friend went like that. Yes. <laughs> I was like, not always, but sometimes yes. Oh, that was so close, too. You know what, I'm just gonna fly on over here. I'm just gonna hit it. Lol. You were still invincible, too. Oh, I'm sad that the... Did, did anybody else notice just how creepy Amy's green eyes are in that screen? Especially how they're all dark right now. Yeah, holy crap, that looks spooky. Well, I mean, it is the scary level. The next level is supposed to be even scarier. No, the next level is just supposed to be more annoying to platform through. Oh, uh, you're right. The next level is probably the worst level in the game. No, uh, it, Frog Forest would be the worst level in the game. No. I, I can I just disagree. Knew we could do it. You didn't even get an A rank. How? It was so fast. I should have definitely gotten an S. I don't know. And uh, we'll be back, by the way. 
Yeah, we're back. Okay, time for uh, some chaotics. Let's go. Some chaotics. Come on, goodness. me. I said good nicks instead of goodness. Good nicks. So do you instead of bad nicks. Do you think that good nicks yeah, are uh, Sonic's robots that he myself. makes? But Sonic doesn't make the robots. That's what you think. Also, Charmy's a dick. Charmy. Does he? He's he's causing fights in his group. Just for the sake of being annoying. At least his voice is less annoying than in Shadow. Bee bee bee! Charlie bee! He's so much annoying. He's so much more annoying than Shadow the Hedgehog. I can't wait until I start doing that level a bunch. And you'll have to listen to him go like. Free me! Free me! Wee! I feel like. Hey, look! A giant worm! Thank you! Uh, thank you. You can actually glitch through that door, but I'm not good at that glitch, so I'm not gonna do it. I mean, it's I not that I'd, hard. I thought I'd mention it. It's not hard, but I'm not good at it, so... You know. Oh, shit. There's a bad guy there. Die! Ow. Remember, you can't break that. Green. Whatever. I got the ball. I, I like how my goal here is to collect keys and touch balls. Collect keys and touch balls. Whoa! Which I guess you could say is a musician's favorite nightmare. Um, okay, so now I am supposed to go out. Yeah. Okay, I was like, That's why there was a thing back there that said fly. I was like, what the heck? What is going on here? Ah, oh, I see. Um, turn around. Look turn at where the thingy around. is. Ah, oh, okay. Look for the glowing bits on the ground. That's how you know where I you go. I always get lost in this level. I have no idea how. It literally tells you with glowing things. Let's go. What are you singing about? Who's singing? Anytime you're ready. Let's go. Who's he talking about? Maybe he heard Rouge. With her orgasmic moans from last level. Oh no, Chip, don't hit that switch yet. I you know, there's a. No, no, there's nothing. No, here. yeah, back in the other room. Okay, what? There was a key. I already got it. Along the pathway that you didn't go to to the other platform. There is no other platform. Yet. Follow the glowy bit. Isn't there? Why do they have a glowy bit then? So there's nothing there. Why would they have the glowy bit without the platform? That's so annoying. Whoa. I just jumped off. I know you did. That would have been great. Also, did you notice they have Jack Skellington painted on the walls? I guess they like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. The door's open. Boot. Electric Boogaloo. Which doesn't make any sense in this context. Yeah, isn't that the name of one of the games? No. Boogie Boogie's Revenge. The immensely crappy PS2 beat em up game. Or I guess it's not really a beat em up game, it plays like, uh. Uh, Devil May Cry. But it is an absolutely terrible game. Jack with his sword and it's like, Soul Stealer! Soul Stealer! Soul Stealer! Soul Stealer! And oh, the saving. Oh, it takes like 30 minutes just to save your game. Who thought that was a good idea? You know how, like, you get annoyed in Gen 2 when they ask you, are you sure you want to save? And then, do you want to, like, do you want to save? And then, are you sure you want to save? No. In that game, they go like, do you want to save? Are you sure you want to save? This is your last chance to back out before you actually save. Okay, so, now you're saved. That's not annoying. That's, that's just very annoying. That's just them making sure you don't save over a file that you want to keep. Yeah, I know mysterious old lady voice. What was Vector doing there? You see me was like, uh, Let's go. Actually, hold on. I did not mean to go back. 
Yes, you did. You have a plan. Hey, they're asleep. So stay quiet and move yes. slowly. Okay! What are you doing? Be quiet! Oops. Okay, please! Okay, I don't know how that triggered, but it did. I'll take it. Now, travel up a little bit. Traveling the glowy bits, the glowy bits, the glowy bits. Traveling the glowy bits to where I want to be. Nice song, by the way. So today was interesting. Um, both of Henry's classes were canceled. And both or, and Chip's class was canceled. And Chapel was canceled. So we ended up driving all the way to school for nothing. Why was there a wing there? I have no idea. Why is there that switch there? Let's go. It opened up that box on the roof. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your team blast. BBB Charmy B. Ah. Uh, darkness. I live in darkness. I'm a croc. Hey now. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Let's play. Oh shit! <laughs> I turned too early. Good job, now you have to redo like half of the level. Wah! No, I got all the keys still, so... I don't have to get them again, I just have to... Oh, Bunny, that was annoying. I love it. You were on a pretty good run, and then all of a sudden you just lost. I choked the last minute, man. Yeah, seriously, try to fly up more as you can. Like Gonna hit the switch without killing him, and so he turns into an evil robot? No, he just goes away. Let's go. oh. I wish that would have been a mechanic for him, where... What the heck? You, you hit Vector against the fire. Vector, please. Please, I thought crocodiles were waterproof. Or fireproof. I thought crocodiles were waterproof. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're waterproof, but... I don't know. Anybody else confused as to why there was a wall in front of the only entrance switch to this building? No, there were two switches. Vector, you... You're a special kind of person, you know that? Who has many needs that are very unique. Mm. That's in here. Yeah. What? Where? Where? You already got it. Why are you questioning where it is? Ooh, nice level up. So maybe you'll only get a D instead of an F. What was it? Try to land in there? Yeah, you can actually like homing attack into that upper window if you time it right. Yeah, I've done it before. And it's necessary for speed running, but. I mean, honestly, it's not that. Also, these things. I hate those shields. Yeah, the ones that you can't easily break. Well, if you were S or if SPO had level three, then he would be able to break it. Unfortunately, he's only level two. Oh, thank God, I didn't fall all the way down. Cause you can fall all the way down, and let me tell you, that sucks. 
get up and get the freaking ring. Oh no, I fell! And then you fell some more. Also, did you notice those rings were frozen in time until you fell? Yes. That was interesting to say the least. Okay, do I take it down? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh boy. Uh, oh, there's a switch, okay. Like, you didn't even on? have to kill that thing. I thought I did. It's been a while. I, could, I didn't remember either, but you didn't even have to in the end. Oh well. That should be the last one. It means we're back to normal again! Ugh. Thank god that's over. Only one more of these spoopy levels left. Performance, I'd say. It's because you fell. It's okay. We'll, we'll make it up later. And we'll be back in a few. And we're back! Let's blast through with Sonic <sighs> okay. Here we go again! Uh... Oh, and then the return of sound mixing. What is that? Spooky here! The fire doesn't even sound like fire. It sounds like somebody crinkling a plastic bag in front of a microphone. <laughs> See, I want to run down that hill. Yeah, really. Fortunately, the Sonic part of it, I'm actually pretty decent at. Oops. Assuming I remember everything I do for it. See, Hang Castle sucks. My favorite part of this game, or my favorite part of these levels, is the next level where there's that super gauntlet that's way harder than the final level. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Shift rock, yeah! No more blocking pillars, the Sonic! Down again. Right, so We're back to normal now. Oh, I thought there was a thing over there. I guess not. Yeah. Here we go! Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Knuckles, what are you doing? He's, uh, freaking out. What a oh, wrong button. Certainly helps if I forget that button. Shift rock, shift rock, shift rock, shift! Here we go. Grinding down the old rail grind. So you know what's an interesting I found out people used to think it said? A lot of people didn't know that it said shift. They instead heard a different word using SH. Ship. Like a spaceship. Shit, 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 sheet, sheet, sheet. I have to say, the first ever time that I had that, I just did it. Okay. Oh, that's why there was the. blowing chip. If you just stay stationary, it will eventually come back, and also you'll not fall. Yeah, I know, but uh, gotta go fast. Look, the door's opened. Look, his pants are open. Oh wait a minute, I have a turn black. Just use oop, wrong button. What are you doing? <laughs> I just start instead of white. <laughs> Now you scroll through the entire menu, and then, then you open up the options menu, and then you freaking had a croissant. <laughs> I don't know, I, I had a finger aneurysm. Did you know that you can triangle jump in that room for some reason? Yeah, isn't that weird? There's a lot, like, even in this doorway, I think you can probably just triangle jump infinitely. Probably. I think you can on pretty much any wall. Yeah, which is so weird, considering games like Spongebob, where you have to be on... Whoa. Oh, okay, good. I, I still need it. <laughs> in games like Spongebob movie game, you have to be on specialized things in order to triangle jump. Um, there we go. 
It's like, uh, am I gonna grind today or? Nah, you're just gonna run alongside it. I was wondering. Uh, camera, please. Leave it to me. Let's go. Let's go. So when I when I played the PC version of this, I mapped Team Blast to pushing in the right analog stick. I'm sorry, the left analog stick. So it was pretty nice to have it like immediately right there. Be careful. Was certainly weird. A little bit, but it worked pretty well. Also, we're back to using my primary original Xbox controller, which uh, it's much nicer than that other one. Other than that. I mean, again, that freaking thing is totally useless. God, I still don't know why there was that uh, feather there. No! How dare you, jerk! At least Heroes isn't like 06 where you have to keep all your rings to keep the score. It makes it so much easier. Wong. Are you gonna follow the path by for once? Yeah. No problem. Figured I would. I usually just. I usually just jump across you it. You usually just get hit a thousand times. Switches up here, I think. Yep. Yeah, they do like to move around their switches uh, a lot, don't they? Tails, will you please grab the switch? There you go. There they are! Leave them to me, Sonic. Did you know that he's Eggman's robots? Look at all those Eggman's robots. See, you know what? That's a weird thought that I just had. Do you remember Nintendo Dogs? Uh, yeah. I remember the first ever time I played Nintendo Dogs was in the car, though, because I just got my 3DS. It's like a month ago, I wanted to try out one of the other games that wasn't uh, Spider-Man. And so, DS? or my DS, I mean. I do have all of the DS games released of Spider-Man, though, of the original DS. Got them all. Yeah, because you bought them. it from some guy on Craigslist. Yeah, who had every Sp Spider-Man game. He must have been a big Spider-Man fan. I guess so. But the cool thing was that... Or, well, the weird thing was, you know how you have to name your dog and you say the name of the dog to it? Yeah. Like, in order to, for the very first time, in order to register it? And he just would not register my voice because the mic was fucked up. So the entire time, I would be like, the pupperino, and he'd be like, Eh? Uh? And I just remember that for so long, just like, Trying the entire car ride home from Colas. We. I somehow touched that ball despite the fact I'm pretty sure I didn't actually touch it. So, what? So, what kind of music do your kids listen to? Whatever I play for them. Uh, Imagine if uh, you look were. At the screen. I love when it does that. Imagine if you were able to just talk to Ryan. It, it's such a minor camera effect, but I really like when you do the light speed dash there, and, and it, it like turns, turns the back. screen. If you look though, it doesn't actually turn the screen. It's that it's the, the trail itself spins, so the screen doesn't actually move. Look at that <laughs> but simply <laughs> enough, some serious problems. The world around it moves if you look. Keep on flying out. Never. Never. Eggman's got some serious problems. Yeah, you have to start from the. Doesn't matter, you can. You're supposed to do it in this position. Oh, but look! It became somebody else. But who is that? No, seriously, who is that? That'd be mystified when he was a kid. I still don't actually recognize it. I don't know, who is it? Is it... Eggman's evil brother? Steve-man? Steg-man? Shit, 
Jeff man? Jeff man. <laughs> Wait, no. Evil brother. So then it's Ryan man. Go. Wouldn't that have been such a cool place to end the level at, where you go inside of him? Yeah, but I like this ending right here, where you like jump down here and do that. And you can do that like three times. Yes! I somehow managed to do that. Oh, this part's scary because it has all the spiky balls. It's like trying to do bonus levels. Yes! I think I got them all. Oh no, you can't light speed dash on those, I forgot. Yeah. Whew! Okay. Haha! <laughs> no screw ups. So, did you ever realize that that last part is kind of like uh, the statue shooting you out? A little bit. That was tight. Got that right, Sonic. That was loose! Alright, we'll be back. And we're back, and it's Henry's turn. He's gonna play as, uh... I'm counting on you guys. Team Middle School, <laughs> over here. He's ready to play the multiplayer part of the game, hmm? No. Are you sure this is the right way? Affirmative. What's up? Something on your mind? Well, never mind. Let's go. That blue hedgehog like me. What did the doctor say about Apparently that blue memory? hedgehog likes him. Just are you shipping Sonic with yourself, Shadow? <laughs> I think you'll make a lot of people on the internet very happy. Well, I mean, everybody does know that uh, he doesn't end up... What's that? <laughs> I don't know. But everybody knows that it's not uh, Sonic that he ends up with. It's it's Amy when they're a country girl after Eggman accidentally kills everyone in the universe, so they have to flee to Earth. What? And she lives in the state of Montana, obviously. What? <laughs> Yeah. What in the name of convoluted fan fiction? <laughs> ah! Curses. I hate Omega. I'm not gonna lie. Omega's controls are pretty wonk. Oh my god. But seriously, what? <laughs> yeah, I, he... I, th I thought he'd just end up with Amy for the sake of cucking Sonic. No, he doesn't even like... No, him and Sonic both uh, own a farm together. And Amy used to live in the big city of Miami, and then uh, her mom died, and so she moved in with Sonic because he, she was down on her luck, and she couldn't get a new reporting job after her old one fired her. Why is Amy a reporter now? What is she, Lois Lane? M maybe that is the... I don't know, but apparently she is in this particular universe. It's an actual story. It's called That City Girl, if you ever want to look it up. What the fuck? Who, 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 what? It's actually a really good one. They spent all that time writing it. They're still in the process of writing it. It's not done? No, and it's been going on for about five years now. What? They have the original version out already that's full, and they're also working on the remake, and they're about 20 or so chapters in. Who spent all those years writing that? I don't know, there's also the sequel, and also for some reason, uh, Manic the Hedgehog and his girlfriend Rosie, which is the nega version of Amy Rose, are in the same town, she's pregnant, and, uh, yeah, he's kind of a dick still, like, trying to kill Amy, and he also has a bat who may or may not have tried to rape her in the first day of the town, because, you know, fan fiction. What the fuck? Fire! Oh, come off it. <laughs> also, he has a bat that may have raped her? Like, what? No, tried to. What? Yeah, it's kind of a weird story. You have to get into it in order to fully comprehend the beauty that is. Anaya charge! Anaya charge! What the fuck?! <laughs> I like how you're shocked by that. In particular. I'm offended by it. <laughs> wow, that's pretty standard fare for the Sonic universe. Ugh. I mean, come on, which one is worse? 
him having that happen, or, uh... I the think the worst one is the one you were telling me about, <laughs> where, like, fucking Phineas and Ferb get their shit pushed in by doofenshmirtz. Well, that's, like, every fanfiction in the Phineas and Ferb universe, basically. But no joke, though, there, that is a very common one. That or Doofenshmirtz is their dad. <laughs> because that makes sense. Well, no, I, I, and by that I mean Phineas and Candace is Doofenshmirt and Linda's child. Since we never actually hear hide nor tail of whether or not it is canon, so therefore it could potentially be canon. But he was already married and... Yes, it's implied that he is married. Or, well, no, it's stated that he's married to her. Uh, what's her name? But also, who's to say during her Lindana days she didn't have fun? They do Im They do hint that they have actually been together before. Like, in the main series. So it's, the idea isn't totally preposterous. It's like one of the few ships that I can think of where the creators intentionally set it up specifically to do that, and then they implanted in a red herring in it, and they're kind of like hinting that maybe? Because in the words of the creators, it's totally plausible in like a fan perspective, however, in canon, you know? But still, they totally were the ones who fueled it. To I'm gonna go out on a limb and say probably the creators wanted to read some fanfiction of their work. Yeah, they totally did. I mean, they're big... I love Dan Swampy. He, he's great. He's a big fan of fanfiction? Well, no, he's just a big fan of being cool. Oh my god, I, I can't believe this. Charge. Okay, I, I, have you guys ever heard of these fanfictions Henry's talking about, or...? I mean, I'm giving out the title, so if you do want to look them up, you can usually... I know, but, but I want to know if people knew about them beforehand, like... You can usually find them all relatively easily. Like, 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 is our audience just a bunch of fanfiction reading freaks or something? Like... I don't know. You'd expect, given just how much I talk about it and praise it, that they might be. Uh... What? Help! Time was frozen, so the fire <laughs> up. That was spooky. That's the spookiest part of this level. Either that or the freaking... Amy is a country girl image I will now never get out of my mind. <laughs> well, Amy is a country girl. All I can imagine now is Amy with her with a freaking country braid. Why not? Looking a cow. Well, it, they do actually work on a cow farm. So that imagery in your head technically is canon to that story. Oh, too bad it didn't blow up that. I know you can blow up those things. Some of them you can. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna rise up again, isn't he? Yep. Like a bean and cheese burrito, he will be back. <laughs> like a bean and cheese burrito. I will be back. Oh, man. I, I, like that, that just took me through a loop. <laughs> that, that, that is not the way I expected this conversation to go. That's not the way I expected this Let's Play to go. <laughs> okay, that was cool. So, uh, Henry and I have decided we're going to become at uh, Atlantologists after <laughs> listening to this audiobook. Yeah, just so we can get, so in... The way that he, that the author describes it, Mark Adams, it sounds like if all that Atlantologists do all day is just go out, get drunk, and talk about Atlantis, so we figure, hey. It sounds like a good day to me. Talk about sunken lost cities described by Plato. 
get drunk. The only problem is that you have to acknowledge Play-Doh exists, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. Did you blow up one of those robots that just threw shit? Yes. Wow. Come on. Boosh. But yeah, you know, it would be, uh, it'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it'd basically be, uh, Squidwardo, or Ed er, Eduardo Squidwardo. So, yeah, we, we're, we're definitely gonna become Atlantologists after this, so don't be surprised if, uh... So don't be su surprised if we suddenly say that, uh, ancient Egyptians actually crossed the Mediterranean in search of ancient booze. No, remember they were searching specifically for cocaine. Oh, you're right, they were bringing over cocaine and, uh, potentially... Tobacco. To, well, not only tobacco, but also potentially copper, like very high quality co ah! <laughs> Blunder of the day. It wasn't even a blunder, though, is the sad thing. That was just a sheer. the game didn't work right in that instance. Uh, oh, hey, we also saw another HD DVD player in that one thrift store we made an episode about. Speaking of which, we haven't made any more Brothers Thrift episodes, have we? No, I feel like if, uh, much like how Ben Minot summarized it, don't want to steal LGR's thunder. I, I don't mind making one once in a while, but, and I mean, to be fair, it is one of our most viewed videos, but, like, it's not our main content, so I don't feel like, you know, shitting up the channel with us going into thrift stores where we find things maybe once every five or six times we go. You know what I mean? I don't know, I totally would be down to shitpost. I know you would be, but I, I like keeping a level of quality on the channel. But we don't have quality. Yes, we do. That's like saying that, uh, that's like saying that he's, team he's got style, he's got grace. This Kong is it's a, a funky disgrace. disgrace. This Kong is is a funky disgrace. Oh, I see. You're saving the team blast for that. You could have just used the glitch and got another one. I wasn't even saving that. I just didn't feel like using team blast on them. Oh. Also, look at that. I froze him in the air. There you go. Annihilachar. Come on. Good. Good. Come on, make some noise. Girls, rock your boys. Hey, one man. Where did we get the one man from? The game felt bad for killing you, so it's like, here, have another life, bro. Yeah, who is that creepy statue of? Put your vote in the comment section below. If you've already know who if you already know who it is or you've beaten the game, don't vote. No, then definitely vote because we wanna watch as the uninitiated like try to figure it out. Cause it'll be really funny if you give them a bunch of red herrings. <laughs> like, for instance, saying that it's uh Silver Sonic from uh the end of Sonic 3. Let's jump! Oh, Rip. Nope, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it, whether or not, <laughs> whether or not the game is willing to let me. I will do it. What? That was incredible. Also, look at this. You're just falling. You're not even like. Okay, there you go. I'll take it from here. Job. <laughs> you missed every one of them. <laughs> Good. Just watch this. It's my and new speed. Shadow dabs. <laughs> it's my new speed running technique. Did, did you see it's called the free dab. Did you see Shadow dab to show his disapproval? Small He's like, I'm oh, sorry, guys. Also, does anybody else this notice that there. this is like okay. significantly longer than any other segment <laughs> in the game so far? Oh, that's too dark for you. Good. You know, it's the werehog stages for ya. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't say we should play that next. Uh, I don't know what I want to play next. Well, we got plenty of time, we got plenty of games. 
Oh, you but, know what we should uh, play next? We will see you guys next time. Bye bye What's wrong with me?